Good morning guys. I just woke up and I'm gonna try and do this today. <laughs> Yesterday was just really, really bad. Let me just be blunt. Why is this not focusing? Um, I spent pretty much the entire day crying. I didn't really eat, I didn't really drink anything. I just literally just cried all day. And watched the lightning game, they won. <laughs> but um, I woke up, I actually slept, I took the melatonin, it worked, and I don't even remember falling asleep. I don't even remember dreaming. I just remember I fell asleep sometime around like 12.30ish and woke up at 10.30. So I slept, which helps. And today is a very interesting day because we had a cold front go through last night, so it is 63 degrees outside and I am all for it. I am loving it. So when I'm done with my treatment, I will probably take Panda for a walk. And that means I'll be taking Tricapta a little bit late today, but I want to try and actually eat when I take Tricapta today because all I drink is all I had yesterday was boost. So um, that'll be okay. And then probably just paint for a while um, and try and whew, put yesterday behind me. It was a lot. So, um, but I am making coffee and gonna get on my treatment. But just wanted to say good morning to you guys. Um, don't you guys know that coffee is an essential part of the morning CF treatment? It is a necessity. <laughs> but <clears throat> anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you for the sweet comments yesterday and uh, let's, uh, let's move forward. Yesterday was probably one of the worst days I've ever had in a long time. So <clears throat> I'm going to move forward and do my best and I can't promise there won't be any tears today, but we're trying not to do that. So. Let's, uh, let's see what today holds and the beautiful weather and getting back to painting and uh, making the most of it. So I'll see you guys later on. Hey guys, so I just got back from Walking Panda and it was a nice way to relax except for like the last like, I don't know, minute of the walk. There was this very loud squealing noise behind us that made both me and Panda jump. It was a truck pulling out, but I was just engrossed in my music and I wasn't even paying attention to the outside surroundings much. And then it was just, <laughs> we both jumped, but um, uh, yeah, it was a nice way to relax because not long after I ended that last clip, we discovered that our fridge and our freezer are broken. And so we're waiting on maintenance to come for that. Um, so yeah, hopefully they'll show up soon because our fridge is at 60 degrees and our freezer is at 39 and our ice cream is soup. So yeah, it's been... I woke up and I was like, all right, this is my day. And then it's like, again. Um, so there's that. But I enjoyed a nice walk with Panda. It is 62 degrees outside, so I actually wore a jacket, which was nice because we aren't going to get many more days like this um, until later in the year. It's like almost spring. It's the first day of spring tomorrow. And spring in Florida is pretty much summer. So. 62 degree days like this is extremely rare. We had a cold front go through last night, which also really helped the air quality. It's still yellow, but it's much, much lower than it has been. Um, and so, yeah, that was really nice. I'll probably go back out later, depending on when the maintenance person shows up, because my dad has to go to work at two. And if he doesn't show up till then, then I have to sit here and wait for the person to show up. But, um, I will, I'll see what happens, but I've enjoyed the walk. It's very nice. All the trees have all their leaves. Um, and the one tree across from us, you won't really be able to see it, but I'm looking at it out the window. It has these really pretty red, like, I don't even know, I don't, I guess they're flowers. I'm not really sure what you would consider them, but they're pretty. So if I go back out, I'll show you guys what they are. Um, the only thing I don't like is they always attract a bunch of bees, but <laughs> they're pretty. So spring has sprung and tomorrow it's official. And I've got Ninja sitting here with me. She's kind of taking over my bed lately, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and uh, just gonna sit here. So, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm gonna start on this again because there's not much else to do right now. And I'm gonna be starting on the number 13, which is gonna cover a lot. It's gonna pretty much, it's gonna cover that big area right there, and it's gonna cover all of this, like pretty much finish the outside border. Um, this is where I'm at after, I'm pretty sure there's some 12s that I missed, so what I do is when I put out a new set, because this is 13 through, what, 18 I think, um, I keep the other two because I'm sure there's stuff I missed, but this one should be fun. Uh, this one got boring because 
it was pretty much a bunch of white and this one was all like a bunch of brown but this one has everyone is pretty much a different color 14 and 15 are a little similar um i really like 16 and 13 is gonna be black which is nice because these i had to keep painting to cover the numbers but when it's a darker color you don't have to do so many sets so that is uh what i'm gonna do i just need to grab a cup of water i didn't get very far in this uh and i did that little corner here and this little corner there and there's a reason for that so you remember how i said that our fridge was broken well we called maintenance about it just expecting them to fix it and we got an upgrade we got a completely new fridge and now there's a mess in the kitchen there's stuff all over the floor and there's they also fixed the air conditioner while they were at it so that was good and yeah, there's a big mess in the kitchen that i need to clean the floor but we got an upgrade and it's actually pretty nice i don't want to open it too much because it's gonna take about two hours to um go up to temperature reset but i just want to show you guys so it, it, i cleaned off the handles because they were touching them but it's a brand new fridge we this is definitely bigger um our other fridge only had one shelf and then the bottom and we didn't have this down there either so this is bigger which is nice and this is about the same amount of door space as we had before, so that, that's not that much different. What's really nice is we pretty much just doubled our freezer space. So, um, if you take this freezer, if you cut it down half like that, that's probably about the freezer space we had, like there. So we just doubled our freezer space, and yeah, it's really, really, really nice. Uh, brand new fridge, and much more space. So that do its thing and uh just hang out i just was sitting here i had to wear a mask while the maintenance people were in here obviously and um now we have a new fridge which is awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and end today's vlog here uh because it is already almost four o'clock and i'm just gonna rest the rest of the day i'll probably pick up painting a little bit but i don't really feel like doing any more right now so i'm gonna upload this and uh yeah wake up with a broken fridge get an upgrade it works. So thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.